If you've ever seen falling snow, you know that snowflakes are incredibly light. But when it snows a lot, all those snowflakes add up. A block of snow, only one foot on each side, can have around one billion snowflakes and weigh more than 20 pounds. Snow in the mountains contains an unimaginable number of snowflakes. All of these snowflakes may look like they're just sitting there, but they actually have immense amounts of energy. Let's investigate two types of energy that snow can have. A motionless blanket of snow has energy just because of its position or where it lies. The energy that something has because of its position is called potential energy. Like a heavy rock waiting to roll down a hill, snow on the slope of a mountain has a lot of potential energy. When something with potential energy starts moving, it has a different type of energy. We call this energy of motion kinetic energy. When the potential energy of a large amount of snow turns into kinetic energy, it can lift rocks and chunks of ice, knock down trees, and even bury roads as it races downhill. This sudden movement of a large amount of snow down a slope is called an avalanche. The weight of snow in an avalanche can be as much as a million tons, and it can move as fast as 300 feet per second. That's like having 6,000 whales all moving faster than most hurricanes. But how does this much snow start moving all at once? To answer that, we need to understand how snow piles up. Snow falls in layers, and each layer of snow can be very different. One layer can be light and dry, made up of very small snowflakes that don't stick together very well. Another layer can be heavy and wet, made up of large flakes that stick together wonderfully. A heavy layer of sticky snow on top of a lighter layer of loose snow is one ingredient to an avalanche. Another is the slope where these layers are piled. If it's too flat, the weight of the snow keeps everything in place. If it's too steep, snow slides down the slope before enough can pile up to become a potential avalanche. But where the layers and slope are just right, all that snow can be ready to start sliding, and even a small disturbance can set off an enormous avalanche. While these events are incredible acts of nature, all of their energy makes them extremely dangerous. So if you're on your way to the mountains for a day on the slopes, and you see an avalanche warning, it's probably a good time to just have hot chocolate by the fire.